Hello. Welcome to Dotcom. My name is Dottie, your personal relaxation technician. This is track number 377, ASMR Techniques Continued. This track is divided into three subsections. Relaxing tapping sounds and storytelling Relaxing water sounds, fizzing, crinkling, and more tapping sounds And finally, relaxing guided meditation with light visuals Let's begin section one have an assortment here of interesting items that I will be tapping on for your relaxation while sharing an interesting backstory on each item. A bottle Aqua Euthemia A Make Make and two nesting pods of a calypsis. Aquithemia was an incredibly popular drinkable mood regulating drug of the last half the 21st century and into the 22nd. It was so widely regarded as a perfect pharmaceutical drug that it dominated its market and left zero desire for any improvement to its formula. Its effects on people's mood felt very natural. And was best summarized in one word. Good. Aquiuthemia was the ultimate culmination of over 100 years of advancement in the now defunct drug class of antidepressants. And although nothing is truly perfect, any undesirable side effects were deemed either placebo or statistically insignificant which was the best you could ask for in pharmaceuticals, really Yes, nothing that came before aquiuthemia could replace it and nothing new came after which is how it rightly earned the nickname The Last Medicine But 
all things do have their eventual end and as nano and biotechnology really took hold pharmaceutical industry became obsolete which made aquiuthemia a relic of a more fragile time in human history of course there are current unregulated uses of aqua euthemia, but that is a different story altogether. Our next item, despite its small size, created quite a large controversy. The story goes that three archaeologists believed that vast networks of ruins belonging to an intelligent but extinct civilization were buried deep under the terrain of planet Lyria Minor. There beautiful backgrounds and compelling research on the topic convinced major educational institutions to fund their mission to the planet to perform an excavation of the site. Now this was potentially very big news at the time as it preceded our first contact with intelligent alien life. So, after one Earth year on Lyria Minor and much to the archaeologist's dismay, the excavation team turned up nothing but dirt and rock. Granted, they did make some novel geological discoveries, but nothing that warranted any further funding of their mission. Still, the archaeologists felt certain that in just a bit more time, their hopes would be confirmed. So, with their reputations on the line, and their financiers preparing to back out, the archaeologists hatched a plan for a last, desperate measure. 
they would fabricate their own alien artifacts. Just a few. Just enough to regain the confidence of their financiers and buy them enough time to uncover some genuine Each of them were very knowledgeable in their field of interest, so it wouldn't be hard to counterfeit a few convincing relics. So they did. And thus, the make make and a few other artifacts. When news reached the media, it caused a frenzy. Evidence of intelligent life outside of humankind had finally been discovered. It was the biggest news story of all time. For a short time. only took a few earth weeks for one of the Lyria Minor crew members to become privy to the scheme and report back to their superiors. Funding was immediately pulled and the archaeologists returned home a mountain of legal offenses, and their reputations were forever marred. In fact, the only winners in this story were the shrewd companies who decided to manufacture replicas of the counterfeit alien artifacts and sell them as novelty. Make Make is a top seller. Finally, we have our third item the nesting pod of the Calypsus. The Calypsus is a tiny reptile like winged animal. It's gentle natured and native to the planet Cygna. The Eclipsis is a heavily regulated animal due to its limited numbers. And because of this, they are extremely difficult to acquire as pets and are generally associated with the well-connected and economically elite. name is derived from the moon Calypso which is a barter colony where Eclipsis was first introduced and sold to the public prior to 
its regulation. The Calypso colony is notorious for its out of control black market and to this day still engages in the illegal sales of Calypsus. In addition to their beautiful, vibrant color patterns, calypsuses are also prized for their melodic mating calls, which are almost song-like. As such, their owners will often keep them in solitude to avoid them pair bonding with a mate, which would subdue their lovely song. And this also indirectly contributes to keeping their numbers low, which further reinforces their regulated status. Let's begin section two, brought to you by Mad Cow Energy Soda Milk. Mad Cow, bringing people more energy since 2080. For this part, I'll be using this bottle of Mad Cow to create a variety of relaxing sounds while sharing some of the beverage's interesting nutritional facts. Mad Cow is an energy and nutrient booster drink formulated to give day's worth of energy and nutrition in one bottle. Each serving of Mad Cow contains 500 milligrams of Centaurine, which produces enough energy to replace a full night of sleep. It also contains over 100 micronutrients, 11 of which are essential to the human body, plus 250 grams of protein, and that is more protein than three 9-ounce steaks. delightful fizziness is the result of a special blend of gases to add both a kick and to aid in the digestive breakdown of this heavy dairy beverage. And in addition to its nutritional benefits, modified super cows for which Mad Cow owns 27 
different gene patents to protect their one-of-a-kind breed. Mad Cow currently only comes in the blue flavor, but new cows are being developed to produce two additional flavors, magenta and electric green. Remember, a portion of every mad cow purchase goes to support the eat them or ethical and transparent treatment of humanely modified mammals foundation. Now let's begin section three. This part, I would like you to first take three deep, calming breaths. muscles on the way down. Relax your facial muscles, your jaw, your neck. Relax your shoulders and the muscles of your upper torso. Relax your lower torso, your upper legs, your calves, your feet. Feel the tension release from your body as you mindfully bring each muscle group a loose resting state. You're feeling 
feeling calm. Now. In this relaxed, pleasant state, I want you Follow me. Follow me into another place, into a guided meditation. Imagine walking along a long white beach. Hear the gulls and the gentle roll of the waves. Your feet sink into the warm white sand. It is quiet and safe. You are alone, walking into the soft sea wind. The sun is shining down on you, making you warm. You've been looking for a place to be quiet and comfortable. This feels as if it is your beach and yours alone. You stop and stand, looking out over the immense, expanding ocean. It shows its green top water, its purple midwater, and its gray, powerful underwater. The colors are mixing. creating the bubbly white crest at the top of each wave. The roll of each wave sounds like the earth breathing. Oh. over and over again with each wave. You feel the power of the ocean and the earth. A short distance ahead of you, You now notice a big white house. It is beckoning to you. Looks like a temple or a small castle of some sort. You walk towards it. Relaxed and interested. Follow a short path to the house and see that the large door is open. You feel that it is perfectly okay for you to go inside. It is safe and calm. step out of the sunshine and into the coolness of 
this beautiful house. You find yourself in a huge hallway with plants and paintings. A magnificent marble staircase stands before You know you want to go up those stairs. You become aware of a very heavy backpack that you've been carrying all this time. The backpack is full of your worries, troubles, concerns and negative feelings. Slowly remove your backpack and with it all your worries and concerns. You feel released. Now easily ascend the staircase. Each step you take, you become lighter, happier, and quieted. Each step brings you closer to absolute Enjoy. The comfort and joy live in you. And now there is nothing to get in the way of feeling them, reaching them, having comfort and joy. Now the stairs. You are strong and certain. A large window is open at the top of the stairs. And in front of it is a big white Face the window, watching the magnificent ocean once again. This time is yours. You watch from your chair by your window in your house. Breathe in the soft ocean air and know you are home. greater sense of calm. Maybe it is bedtime and you can drift away in a state of ease. Maybe you are just starting your day and you can embrace it with a 
greater sense of well-being. Or maybe it's any time in between. No matter what time it is, and no matter what awaits you, you are capable. I'm Dottie. This is Dot Calm. And I hope you enjoyed this track. It's been a pleasure. I'll now proceed with the countdown. Three, two, 